is Shibulit. I was born in a kibbutz in the north of Israel, a secular kibbutz. I didn't live with my family. We had um, um, children's houses. There is no, uh, no one uh, grown up to, to take care, like no family, no mother, father. I was part of it. So we could do whatever we want, actually, and we did. A lot of things we started drinking and drugs and if I look at it from now it's very sinful life. I didn't know to do anything different. I didn't, uh, you know, I, I came back to the same place with the same people and everything. I realized that my life is going nowhere. I didn't want to live uh, many times. I just wanted to die because when you live this sinful life, sometimes you, you don't want to live anymore. I was doing this and doing that and not really providing for myself and just living day by day and minute by minute even. I became sick and it wasn't just a flu or something. I, I had a cancer. But what happened interesting in this, that in the hospital after the surgery, I was sitting there and then I had a kind of a vision. I didn't know it's a vision because I was not a believer or anything, but I saw my life uh, step by step, how every step is, is leading to the other. And uh, I saw, I saw a, a junction, you know, two, two ways. One way that will lead me to death. If I continue, it was like someone told me, if you continue like this, you will, you will die very soon. And that was the first time that I had to choose, you know, to choose about my life between if I want to live or if I don't want to live. And that was just this point that I had to choose, you know, and, and the first time in my life that I chose life. And then I moved to Jerusalem. I signed myself to the university, started studying in the university and changed all my life. And it was good because I changed all the people around me. Many of them were drug dealers. I, I just cut all the relationships with them. I was reading the Bible, trying to find out, you know, trying to find out what, uh, what's the secret in the Bible. I knew there is a secret, but I, I couldn't see it. It was like, you know, like the veil, really like the veil. And then I was sitting one day in, the, in my kitchen here in, in Jerusalem, and I was reading the book of Isaiah, and then suddenly something hit me. I realized that what Isaiah was writing, or what Isaiah was talking about, you know, thousands of years ago, it's talking about me now. It's, it's talking about this life. It's connected. It's not uh, separated from... I realized there is a line connected. It's not some, something old that has nothing to do with me today, or with us today here. Something became, started to, be, to become alive in, in this. I still, I didn't know anything. A few days after, I met someone in the university and she asked me if I want to study the Bible. In the Bible in Hebrew is, is only the Old Testament, but she said old and new. And then um, I said yes, but to myself I thought, okay, I will only go to the Old Testament uh, class, not to the not to the New Testament. I didn't want anything to do with the New Testament. And then I came with her and it was, uh, they were believers. I knew, you know, because, because she said New Testament as well. So I knew they, they believe in this as well, but I didn't know who are believers, what are they. When they started reading, I realized that they have what I'm looking for. They have the key for what I'm looking for all my life. And I was so happy. I, it was like uh, joy coming into my heart and flooding my heart. I was very happy about things that are starting to happen in my life. We were studying about Yeshua. It was, it was amazing because uh, all the time that uh, in my house also that I opened the Bible, prophecy about Yeshua. Every time I opened, it was a prophecy about Yeshua. Just like this. And God was showing me all the time, Yeshua in the Bible. One day they were sitting and they were talking about sin. And they, I asked them, how do you know what is sin? And they said, okay, if you, want, if you want to know what is sin, maybe we can open the New Testament. We opened Galatians 5, you know, the, the list of the flesh. And I was shocked. It was like someone was hitting me strongly because... I saw myself in this list, you know, I saw who I was in this list. I came home, I started shaking, shaking physically. I had fever, 
like my, my uh, temperature raised up and I went into bed. For one week I was like this just because I read the list of the, you know, of the flesh in Galatians 5. So I realized these words are very powerful. If this is what's happening to me, these words have power. And then I, I started reading the New Testament. But still something in my heart was so stubborn. I thought to myself, okay, I have relationships with God. I don't need Yeshua in the middle. I didn't understand why I need him. And I didn't want to accept Yeshua. Accepting Jesus is, for a Jewish is like crossing the border. It's, it's you're going like you're betraying your, your people. That's what I felt. I'm going to betray my people. And the other thing, I also um, felt like I'm going back to my roots now, because this is the roots. I, I'm going back to where God really wanted us to be. And then I decided I want to know things very, very clear. And then I said, I will fast until I know the truth. Three days later, I was in my bed. I wasn't sleeping, but I was before, you know, just going to bed. And, and then I, I was somewhere else and I was very aware of what's going on. I wasn't in my body but I was somewhere else and I knew it and I knew in a different world I saw Yeshua and I see it, it was it was amazing. It's not physical. It was pure love and pure light. It was very big and love, just love, 100% it's not something that we can understand because we are we have body we we need we have needs you know and and this this was perfect we di I didn't need anything I didn't lack anything it was perfect it was different and I was like going going to him like a magnet like a magnet I wanted to be with him and I said, uh, and I told him, I want to stay here. I don't want to come back because I knew that I need, I have a different uh, place that I am. And I said, I don't want to go back there. I want to stay. It's not words. It wasn't words, but it was uh, just speaking, just understanding somehow what we, what we say to each other. And he said, and he stopped me and then there was some water poured over me and I felt like I, I'm, I need to be cleaned. And then after, after the water was poured and I felt more clean, I, I said, okay, now I want to come. I don't want to go back, really. I, I, that's what I said. And, and then he said, it's not your time yet. Your time will come. And then I, I was back in my bed and I opened my eyes. And in the beginning, I could not see anything. It was dark. Was. But I was so happy that I didn't care about anything. I didn't care if I'm going to be blind for the rest of my life. And I knew, I knew who, who he is and I knew that I need to give him my life. And my life changed completely. It was all about lies and about using people. I, everything that I did, I don't do anymore. And, and I'm now I, I want to give, I want to help, I want to, you know, what God wants from me. Because I saw him. He was more happy than I could ever imagine.